Hey everyone. Today I'm going to build a wrapper around the Chicago Bus Tracker API. It's just a little app that I wanted to build up just to learn how to do this in using Python. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Bus Tracker API location website for Chicago Transit and go ahead and sign in and create your own account because you're going to have to use uh, an API API key from their website that you get. Uh, once you have that um, API key, we'll use it later. On their also on their website, they they have their API endpoint documentation. So take a quick look at that. We're actually going to be, if you look at the outline of that, we're going to be building a an, an API call in Python to each one of these endpoints, uh, whether it be time, vehicles, and routes. So go ahead and get your API key and scan through this documentation. And we're going to take a look and, and build this out in the Pythonista uh, mobile iPhone application using Python. So here's a quick look at the actual one of the endpoints that we're going to uh, build first or look at first. And you can see that there's a base URL that we're going to use for each call. And each different API endpoint has a little different scheme that we'll use. Specif specifically here, we're using get time and we'll have to include our API key as you can see here as well. So let's jump over to the app. Um, we have, I have two files already created. Here I have my API key. Make sure you enter yours uh, in there. And I have another file where we have an outline of the API. And I'm gonna add this URL, URL location to the documentation on the PDF just so I can have it within my application. So here we're going to create a few, you can see I have some imports here, uh, requests and JSON that we're going to need to use. Um, and I have my constant base URL and my API key that I'm going to pull in. And here we have a request helper method that's going to receive a URL for each endpoint that we send to it. And it's going to return back to us the parse JSON that we're going to use. So here we can look at our time, the get time call. Uh, we can see that the specific API calls that we need, and we'll do this in each endpoint. Here we show get time and we build out the URL that we're going to need. So for vehicles, it's going to be a, it's going to take a couple uh, different parameters. VIDs or RTS, uh, we're going to set the default to true and it has a little logic in here to build out this uh, endpoint and in a specific formatting. So moving on to routes, uh, this is a little shorter, and get directions. These, these are going to be built out um, based on the endpoints that's in the documentation. Now if you look at get stops, it takes a route and direction and so does get patterns, route or PIDs. Uh, there is a default setting and you can see here uh, the get patterns will take these either it'll look and see which one you've uh, sent to the to method uh, the get predictions a little a little more complex it takes a vid or a stop id it also can accept uh, a route uh, and a, and has a couple of uh, parameters so look through the get predictions make sure you understand uh, what this method does here so we we can actually once we get all of the endpoints and all of the uh, method calls built out, what we can do is create a, another script or another file. And what we're going to do here is just test out these uh, methods that we created, uh, each method that we've uh, created in here. So first off, I'm going to import my CTI, CTA API and import some, some JSON, import the JSON library. And we'll take a quick test here and look at making my first method call to get time. And you can see here that once we turn, we can we see we return the time of the actual uh, CTA tracker uh, time. Now I'm going to make a call to get vehicles. And I put in a specific parameter for this. And you can see all the vehicles that are going to be running on this line here. Now I'm going to take uh, note of one of the vehicles. This is for Route 77. And I'm going to put that vehicle in the get vehicles call. And you can see it takes actual an array 
And once I send a call to get vehicles with that specific uh, bus number, it gives me back information about that bus. So here is a call to just get the routes of all the buses that are on the bus uh, CTA API at this moment. Uh, so that will, you can return and get all the routes that are available. I can also check the route direction of a route. So here 77 has eastbound and westbound. Now I want to actually pull a stop off of Google Maps. I can check uh, a stop nearby. I can pull the stop off ID off of actual Google Maps has this information. So I'm able to take note of this uh, stop ID here and use my route bus 77 and plug in its stop ID at this location and make a call to what I'm interested in here is uh, getting the predictions. You, you know, the number of buses that are coming and how much longer I have to wait on those buses. So let's um, uncomment out, get predictions and run. Uh, I want to add some logic in here to pull out specific information in the JSON and print that out for, for viewing purposes. So here I'm going to run a get predictions on route 77 at this specific stop. And you can see that my JSON is returned, but I added a little more logic in here to pull out this prediction parameter. And what it does is pulls out uh, the next bus that's coming and how many minutes I have to wait for it. So we can see here we have the Belmont, California westbound and have a few minutes for each bus.